When I initially began my career change journey into UX design, I'm going to be honest, I had no idea where to start. I didn't know what to look up. I didn't even know what kind of resources were out there, and it was very stressful and anxiety inducing. I would think to myself, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to start, so I'm just not gonna start. And it really messed with my momentum. So eventually, I was able to get myself out of that kind of debilitating mindset and really, really get curious and look into the career. So that's what today's video is going to be about, and I'm gonna share with you everything that I looked at and all of the resources that I used to really figure out if this was the career for me and almost everything that I used was free or close to free. So today's video is all about all of the low investment ways that I took to learn about UX design and to really develop my skills and bring me to where I am today. everybody welcome back as you know my name's Karen and I am a product design intern trying to break into the world of UX design before we dive in I would like to ask you to support the channel by following and subscribing and also comment and like if you'd like to all right let's get into it so the first resource that I wanted to share is something that's very low commitment and free if you really have no foundations for UX design and you just really want to understand what the heck it is, I would recommend you check out a website called Future Learn. They have a lot of introductory courses that are one to three weeks long, and if you really kind of put in the time, you probably could finish it in one week max anyways. And so it's a good way for you to just learn a little bit about what the field is and to figure out if you're curious enough about it to continue. The link is down below and I'll quickly show you some of the courses that you will have access to if you use this website. So here we have Future Learn. There's a huge assortment of courses that you can take here. Some of the ones that I've bookmarked or taken myself, creating a great user experience for mobile, essential skills for career development, digital skills, user experience. I took personally um, web analytics, user experience, mobile, and UX and accessible design. But there are also expert tracks that you can take that are a bit more intensive. Uh, they do actually have one that's related to UX. It is called Customer Experience Design for Customer Success. It is 12 weeks and there are three courses. So definitely browse through their database. They have a lot of resources. Another really great resource that you could use is a company called General Assembly. They actually offer UX design boot camps, but if you just want to really figure out if you even like the field enough to pursue a boot camp, then I would suggest you sign up for their free workshops. They have a lot of workshops already scheduled for the next couple of months, so you can sign up for whichever one you fancy. I learned so much from these workshops, especially the one on customer journey mapping. But here you can just um, filter what you want. I put design Toronto, any date, and of course I chose free. <laughs> um, and they have a huge assortment of dates, and you can sign up for whichever one you want and then just attend the webinar. It is fantastic. I also just remembered that I also took some courses with Acumen Academy, which I think are really, really great if you want to experience taking courses as a group with other people and not be a solo act the whole time. I took Introduction to Human-Centered Design and I actually really enjoyed this because I got to do it with a group of people and so every week we did team team projects and were able to kind of play off of each other, which was something I hadn't experienced until this point. Everything else that I had to do was alone and really self-paced. But this one, you kind of have to go along with the group and you have people to motivate you and keep you accountable. There's also another course that is specific to prototyping through this company, so I'd recommend you check those out too. Next, I want to talk about two paid resources that are pretty cheap. They're both on Coursera, which is an e-learning platform where you can take various types of certifications with one, Google, and two, the University of Michigan. I've taken both, and so I can tell you which one I liked more and what is better suited to you based off of what your needs are. So if you want to learn a lot about 
UX research and kind of the process of UX design, I would suggest you take the University of Mission certificate program. I found it very, very detailed and very practical. I actually learned way more about the process through this certification than I did with the Google certification. The Google certification was less detailed. You still learn the essentials and the basics, but it definitely um, had some gaps and I found myself going back to my notes for my University of Michigan courses to try and remember how to do everything. You do have to pay a membership. I believe it's between 30 and $40. But if you apply for financial aid, you could potentially take every single course for free, which is what I did. I actually did take everything for free and I'm very grateful that I had that opportunity. So the first one I would recommend is the User Experience Research and Design Specialization with the University of Michigan. It is a combination of, I think, seven courses, oh, six courses. But where the Google certificate surpasses the University of Michigan one is it really does a good job of walking you through the stages of making your first case study. It goes in a certain order and it kind of helps you with templates and organizing your process. So if you want to just really kind of get through your first case study and know exactly what to do in what order, then the Google certificate might be more helpful. And this one I think is seven courses. So here they are here. And this is really good because it helps guide you through your first case study. If you want to be really well-rounded, I would suggest you mix and match courses from both certificate programs. My last suggestion is use YouTube. My best advice to you is just be curious and learn from as many different places as you can because, to be honest, the stuff that I learned on YouTube through my product design internship versus the Google course versus the University of Michigan course they were all very different. And I think I have a well-rounded understanding of UX design because I've taken information from all of these different spheres. So um, it's good if you just use one to try and get going, but I would try to just learn as much as you can, practice as much as you can, and it'll make you a better designer. Before I finish up today, I did wanna just say that the fact that you're even watching this video says that you're already on the right track because you're getting curious, you're trying to figure out what to do. So keep walking this road of curiosity, keep learning, and try and explore the resources that I spoke about today. And I think it'll really help you figure out if this is what you want. And when you do finally figure that out, you can decide, do I wanna take a boot camp, or do I wanna be self-taught, or do I wanna do a mixture of both online? So. Good luck to you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.